Hi. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create first personalized lines for your cold email outreach. I mean, I have already a video talking about this, but, but in this case, I'm going to show you a simpler way, a more easy way that you can run. And I'm, I'll be also including this workflow for you to use. So um, in case you have a fleet database, which is usually the case, um, you will have, of course, the URL of the prospect, right? So which could look something like this. So in this case, we're just using the website to enter to, the, to that website, getting the HTML, you know, the text inside that website to create this AI book. So you can have something completely tailored, completely personalized for this. So this way you don't have to use Stabili or other tools available, which are really good by the way, but they do cost more. So you'll, you can use this approach for most of your data and the other things that are not easy to get or harder to get, you can use more special, specialized tools. So I'll pause because it's actually running. I'll pause it to show you what exactly I do in each part of the steps. So first, simple setting multiple variables, the sheet ID, sheet name. Here, I'm kind of uh, giving the parameters of the, of the information in the Google Sheet. You know, where is the column for the AI book? Where is the URL column, which in this case is a website, uh, which is a completely aligned, as you can see, K, M, and so on. And then we're getting like the whole uh, rows from the Google Sheet. And here we are using the query to select only the values where the AI hook column is empty. And also we have the information about the website. And from there, we're just adding one delay because if you're making constant requests to either the website or to your LLM, the AI model that you're using, uh, it, it can, you can uh, like uh, exceed the limits, right? So here, simply, we're just making the request. We're making an HTTP request with a get method, and that's it. Um, selecting to, actually, you don't even need to parse the data. You just get that information, and from there, you can use whatever model you would like. In this case, I'm using Sonnet 3.5, and we are using one specific prompt, which uh, I will be including in the, in the variables, so you can take a closer look to it. And then I'm just feeding in all the data. I mean all the data from the HTML. I'm using the strip HTML to remove uh, and to leave only the text for the LLM to fully interpret that information. And from there, the result is just saved in the, in the Google Sheet. This way you can have personalized lines for your cold email outreach in a super simple way and start getting more prospects and more business for your business. <laughs> okay, so hope this was viable. Let me know if you have any questions and remember, don't repeat, automate. Bye.